Hey everybody, it's John O'Man Outdoors, and the last video I put up concerning a power management system for a small boat, a bass rate, or plastic boat, or what have you, virtually any boat that does not have a built-in power supply. Uh, this is a self-contained unit. It's in three different components, and I had some questions about wiring it. So I'm going to put this diagram on the screen and talk through that. You can pause your screen if you choose to do so. The most important thing is just remember it's red to red and black to black as you wire all your components together. First thing we're going to talk about is the battery box itself. Now, this is the wire, this is the entire wiring diagram, but it does require a little bit of explanation to, so you can understand what I've drawn here. But if you notice, all the reds are connected together, and again, all the blacks are connected together. Starting at the bottom, this is your 12 volt source. Now, in my case, I'm using a 50 amp hour uh, LiPro 4 battery. And as I said in the first video, it serves me well. I can go out three, perhaps four times without doing any charging. Typically, though, I do bring it in after each charge and top it off. Uh, but I typically stay out uh, three, three and a half hours each time. And I can go two days and three days without any problem with just a 50 amp battery and a 30 amp trolling motor. So that's the battery that's in the box. What's it, the, let's talk on the positive side. The positive side goes to a 50 amp breaker. My entire system inside the battery box is eight gauge wiring. And uh, so the 50 amp breaker is gonna be sufficient to protect any wiring that I have. So it goes through from the battery to the breaker. We'll talk about this line here in just a moment, but let's follow it all the way through. This is my charging ports that are on top and I've got two uh, bolts sticking out. You'll see those in just a minute. Red goes to positive and then it comes right over here. My next is the SAE terminal. I'm using the SAE terminal. Uh, to go from the power module, the power box, over to the pulse width modulator. From there, it just goes right over here to the trolling motor connector. This is my round trolling motor connector if I'm running my motor straight. From there, it goes over to the meter, uh, my voltmeter. Now, as you well know, when you're doing wiring, you don't have to do it in this particular order. You can do any of these things as long as you've got them uh, running straight to each other. Uh, back to the positive. You can run them straight down to each one or you can you know, put them in series or parallel. It's not going to matter because you're only going to be running one of these things for this particular instance. If you're going to do something different, you might want to decide to do parallel instead of series or so forth. Uh, but if you follow this, just red to red and black to black, you'll be safe. Now, let's talk about the negative side a little bit. The, mo the meter that I have and the one that you're going to need for a LiPro 4 battery or lithium battery is a little bit different than just a voltage readout. You're going to be mainly concerned with the percentage of charge that you have left, not so much the voltage. So you're going to need a special meter. I've got links down below for all this stuff. The meter that you're going to be using is going to be tied into the negative side, and it's going to have a shunt in it. The shunt's just going to you know, help do some magic that makes this meter work. So you want to make sure, and this shunt that comes with it has two uh, distinct sides. It's got a battery side, and then it's got your side that your power is going to run out of. You're going to make sure that you're going to put that in correctly. So from your negative, it goes to the battery side of your shunt, goes straight across to the positive side, from the, from, I mean, to, to the uh, uh, power side. Then, just like the red side was, your negative sides are all going to be going together. From here, I've got this is the meter it goes to. It goes to my trolling motor. It goes to my SAE. It goes to my negative, And it stops right here. Now, anytime I plug anything in, it's going to be a complete circuit. Now, I've talked about everything except this one wire right here. This is a very light wire. It can be 18 gauge, 16 gauge. What it's going to do is you're just pulling off of it running over to the shunt, and this is going to supply power to the meter up here to, for your display and so forth. But other than that, I'm running 8-gauge. Uh, you can use 10-gauge if, you, if, uh, you know, if you've got a smaller motor, but I use 8-gauge because it's going to be sized more appropriately to the 50-amp breaker. But this is it in a nutshell. But don't let all this confusion, uh, all this uh, drawing confuse you. Remember, it's, it's simply red to red, black to black as you follow all the way through. Now, let's go over and take a look at the battery box and take it apart and take a look inside. I'm not going to take the whole thing apart, but you'll be able to see exactly where each component is, maybe get some ideas about building your power station. Now, looking from the top down, 
as we go and take a look at it. This is the meter. Now, uh, these are, I just used whole saws uh, to do everything here, but this is the meter, and, and you can lay out any way you'd want to lay it out. The battery box that you're looking at is a Group 24 battery box, which fits the 50-amp uh, battery perfectly. If you've got a different size, you may want a different size battery box, but this will fit the Lipro 4 battery that I have in the 50-amp. Also fits the Group 24 Marine battery. So, uh, and, and again, the links are all down below. This box is made by Atwood and of course none of the holes are in it but this is where the meter goes I just put it over there because it seemed like a handy place these two brass bolts here this is that shot that I was talking about a while ago uh, and this is where it's mounted and these bolts and everything they come with it uh, when you get it these two on this side over here uh, this this is where I do my charging at or I can hook a, a trolling motor in or uh, also I have a little night light that I can clamp onto here. This is just positive and negative. These are just bolts, stainless steel bolts uh, that I've double nutted to where uh, you know they stay put uh, uh, when I take the wing nuts off of it. Uh, but I, I recommend that you go ahead and put those in because it makes charging so much easier. This is the capacity chart that I was talking about with the Lipro 4 battery. And this meter, by the way, will read voltage. It will read the percentage of charge that you have left, which is critical for a Lipro 4 or lithium style battery. Also gives the amps that you're drawing out of your battery. So this is my percentage. In other words, when I'm reading 90%, I've still got 13.3 volts left in here, uh, in this battery. I can theoretically go down to 20% and still have 12.9 12, 12 volts. Uh, that's the beauty of the Lipro 4, the lithium style battery is they maintain their voltage uh, uh, across a wide span of, of capacity. Now on this end right here, this is where I have an SAE connector. This is where uh, this plugs into. Now there's a connecting uh, cable and we'll talk about that in the next box. And over on this side right here, uh, this is where I can hook a trolling motor if I choose to. I can hook the trolling motor straight into this part right here. Now once it gets inside the box, you can see this is where I've got my circuit breaker. Uh, drawn to and uh, let me pull it over here just a little bit as I said I'm not going to take everything apart but you can see I've got several red wires running through different things mine are just running right back to to the circuit breaker itself uh, so uh, you know mine is not wired exactly like the drawing the drawing was a simplistic way of doing it I'm actually running a red wire to each one of those uh, items that I drew and this is the circuit breaker right here that runs into the positive side of the battery everything on the negative side of the battery and that is important. I'll bring the chart back up here so you take a look at it. Uh, it's it's important that when you're using this chart, and uh, turn it around here, you want all your negative, everything on the negative to be running through your shunt. In other words, you don't want to bypass your shunt because that's going to give you an incorrect reading on your battery. So uh, that's the only thing you'll have to. But again, you can run your positive right on over all the way back. Well, mine are actually running back to the top of the breaker like this running on over. Uh, to give you maybe a little bit better idea, mine are, you know, I, I drew this simplistic, but mine are actually just coming all the way back. I did didn't put that on there to just kind of make it. And my, the negatives are doing the same thing. My negatives are just running over to there. Uh, but anyway, that's how you do it. And again, it's very simple to do. Uh, don't be intimidated by it. Uh, you can do it. Well, I hope you got something out of that and I encourage you to go ahead and try to make your own power station. It is extremely handy. It's nice. And uh, it's so convenient when you have all your information and all your connections all in one particular spot. Again, remember, all you have to do is red to red, black to black. Don't be overwhelmed by the project. The links are all down below to make it handy to pick things up if you choose to do so. Good luck with your project. Get out, enjoy God's great outdoors, and we'll catch you right here on the next video.